I'm Katrina, and this is Sew and Tear. And today we are cooking in the car again. Yes, this is cooking on your dashboard. Um, I have thought out four quail, and we're going to be cooking these quails on dashboard. Now, temperature inside the car is going to be whatever it is. That's how it's going to happen. Can't adjust it. You can. You can put a re reflector shield behind it and make that front part of your dash into an oven. It will increase the temperature in that area. So, outside temperatures, you guys see that? 104. 104 degrees. So, cooking time. I don't know what it is yet. I've never done this before. I just have a feeling it's gonna work. <laughs> um, if you've seen this playlist so far, you've seen cookies, and cookies work, I know they work, and I have been making cookies on my dashboard forever. You'll see a link up here. Um, but I am, has, I was hesitant about meat because of the size of meat that usually is, but with a quail, it's so thin, and I think that the temperature will penetrate all the way through pretty good. But here's what I'm gonna do to potentially try to increase that. So I am going to put the quail, once it's seasoned, this is a, well this is Pyrex and this is Anchor. <laughs> Mix and match. <laughs> but I'm gonna put this, this glass container, and here the, here's the lid, I'm gonna put it on the lid, cover it with this container, right? I'm hoping that that will bounce extra heat. But because I know that these can be juicy, yes, your quail can be juicy if you don't cook it to let the, the juice release, I'm going to set this in a pan so the car doesn't get all quail juice. So I have one of these and I have another, like a cookie, cookie pan. So that is going to be my method and I'm going to season these I don't really know with what yet, but I will season them before they go in here and we will see how long it takes before they're done. And again, cooking time is going to be dependent on your your temperature. Um, you know, we did cookies and it took quite a while and, uh, you know, recipe says 10 minutes, but we will see how long this takes. Wish me luck. <laughs> All right, I'm choosing roasted garlic. Montreal chicken. Whenever I do stuff with food that is meat or gunky, I always try and have one gunky hand and one dry hand. It's good practice. Let me show you what I'm doing. So I have it, I have it in the pan, um, and then there's the lid. And this is all a big experiment right now, so we'll see how I like it. Now this one's anchor. I'm doing this as two. I'm putting two quail per container. I'm trying to seal this up. There we go. It's all sealed up. And that should act like a mini oven inside the car, which is another mini oven. We'll see what happens. All right, this one is going in a cake pan. Now the other ingredients that I need is a reflector for the back and a towel to put on the dash so it doesn't get damaged. And I'm going to also put in my thermometer, my Gobi thermometer, so we know how hot it is inside the car. Now, we're not going to know how hot it is inside of each of one of these, but we'll have to test those with a probe. All right, here we go. What 
time is it? Yeah. All right, it is 105 degrees and the time is 1250, 1250. So we're gonna see how fast this cooks. I'm gonna try and come out in 10 minutes and see what the temperature thing says and see how fast it cooks. It's been a half hour. 107 guys 107 um let's go check i was gonna do it 10 minutes but then i got a phone call so it's been a half an hour let's go check all right it is cooking and i couldn't really see what the couldn't really see what this said let's see if i can get it i can't tell what it says so it looks like it's cooked. There's a bunch of juices. That's why I closed it up and had a pan in case it bubbled over. It looks like it's probably done. Ouch. The car just touched me. I mean, I touched the car. Let's see. I don't know if I can even see what that is. I can't even see it. It looks like it's blank. Hopefully we didn't destroy it. So this is... This has been in here for about two hours, 40 minutes, and it was at 198 when I checked a half an hour into it, inside that space, and I don't know what it says. Is it off? It's blank. Yeah, I think, I think totally. we got too hot. Hopefully yeah, it didn't totally destroy the died. Gobi. So it is 107, went down a degree outside, and we don't know what it is inside because it looks like the Gobi, um, maybe too hot for the Gobi, or maybe the battery just happened to go vented. We'll see. I do have hot pads because um, it's gonna be hot. Ooh, it's hot. I'm just gonna get out one here. Ooh. Well, the juice spilled out. Are you filming that? Yeah. Um, that is hot. I we bet. know it's going to be hot, right? How do I get it out, though? Probably using globes. I think so. Let me go get my oven glove. I keep forgetting that I have one. Because that has grip. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's going to be done, huh? We zoom in. Hold on. Okay. It's zoomed in. Okay. I don't even think I have to test it. That's done. Well, you can get a knife and maybe a Look battery. At Look at that. Can you focus? It is focus. That's done. Looks pretty tender. Smells good. Here, set it up and set it up right there and we'll try it. We have another thing. That is very tender. We're gonna have to cook more in the car because it's <laughs> more tender than the oven. I guess you don't lose any moisture when when you cook like that. Yeah. That's probably why it gets more tender. I'll, sh I'll show you guys, I'll zoom in and show you guys, but um, how we have it, I mean look at this, this is it's perfect. It is perfect, isn't it? Yeah. Low and slow. <laughs> Two hours, 40 minutes at somewhere around 200 degrees as far as we know. We don't know what it is actually. Um, but it has all these juices that were captured because we had this. Um, Still hot, huh? Still hot. I think it was hotter in here than it was in the rest of the car. And that was the goal. I think it probably was. So, very cool. So your thoughts are we need to cook in the car more? 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. I think it's a pretty good idea. Okay, let me show you guys what the juices look like. So, this is that lid. And if I pour it out, you can see all the juices. I mean, that's, that's a lot of juice for two birds. That's a lot of juice for two birds. That's a lot of weight for two birds, right? Yeah. Look at that. Here, let me, let me put the actual quail on this and we can hold it up. How's the leg? Let me try it over. Wait, try it over here. I'm not gonna shoot it with somebody else in the back there. Cool. Okay. You good? All right, so that, this is a, what is it, an eight, eight inch baking thing? That's a lot of juice. Look at that. That came out of two quail. Well, I think you didn't lose any. That's why it's, I know. it's a lot more. I know. Well, on the pan, you lose a lot. So if you're looking for a good way to cook, we just did quail in two hours, 40 minutes. You don't have to turn on the oven when you when it's hot and it doesn't have to be this hot it will just take longer if it's less hot but um you just have to cook when you're not hungry yet <laughs> did you guys hear that when well's off camera he says you just have to cook when you're not hungry yet <laughs> so i think this is a wonderful idea i was i was tentative about trying meat because um i don't know just because it's meat and so I think, um, you know, quail, all the parts are small enough that it's going to get cooked through pretty, pretty fast, relatively fast. So I think this is a great idea. And this is the second video in the cooking on your dashboard. We're going to have more if this heat start <laughs> continues. <laughs> Hope the heat doesn't continue like this. But we're going to have more regardless. That's a lot of moisture. Yeah, I think, I think you can still achieve a lot of heat even when it's cold which is with the sun mm -hmm. it's just we might need a new goby we'll see if it cools down if it works maybe we need to get a dark a dark lid to get I more thought about that I thought about doing that so what he's talking about is when you have a solar oven you're supposed to use dark cook, cook dark cookware and um, like black with a glass lid and this simulated that pretty well I think except for this would be the lid except for that wasn't dark. I have a blue one, but we have stuff in it right now. So with a blue lid and that might be, that might heat it up more. So I just took out the second one. <laughs> I think just the pressure is starting to bubble, but look at all that yummy, yummy juice. So the Govi is alive. It's coming down in temperature, but um, we couldn't read it in there. So we have no idea what the end temperature was. Um, Manuel had an idea to use the, the uh, preheated oven to make some, some crescent. So I think those are really old, but we'll see how they turn out. So how long does it say? Um, oh, they expire. That's okay. That's why I said they're really old, but we, we can, we can do it. What do you mean what it says? Like how long? 350. How long? For nine, 9 to 12 minutes. 12 minutes, so. Okay, so an hour and a half. Be an hour. According, according to the cookie video, those should take no more than an hour and a half. But we don't know, but we don't know how hot this actually gets, so it might be hotter. So maybe we can come and check them in an hour? Yeah. In an hour. So another fun thing about doing it in these is if you didn't want to, uh, if you didn't want to deal with it now, you could just put put it, leave it there, and flip it, and then it's still in a container. And it's still cooking. And still cooking. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna combine these containers, so if that's what makes sense. So we got about a half cup for four quail of juice, and I think that's an amazing amount. Thank you for uh, following along and helping us figure out cooking in the car. And I encourage you to try some of these things because it actually turned out really wonderful.
Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like if you enjoyed it and share with a friend. Have a good day.